Hi and welcome to the channel once again and in this video we are well it's a taste test and it's going to be this time it's going to be beer last time it was gin and this time it's going to be beer and of course as with the gin we're going to be talking about non-alcoholic beer which we've had for some time of course but I can remember when I was younger the beer that was always sold in pubs that was non-alcoholic was this dreadful concoction called uh, Calibre, spelt with a K and it was made by the Guinness company and that's all that was available um, but we've progressed from there and now we've got quite a number of beers, non-alcoholic beers that you can just choose and they're, they're, there's literally just loads coming onto the market almost every day it would seem and I'm going to taste test four um, four of the beers that I've recently bought three are from the same company a company called Brewdog and Brewdog are a Scottish company and they were founded in uh, 2007 so they've been going quite a time I'm not sure how long they've been doing their non-alcoholic variety but I have three examples from that company and there are a few others as well I haven't managed to get their new non-alcoholic stout but I have got a non-alcoholic stout milk stout from a company called Big Drop okay Big Drop Galactic Milk Stout alcohol free so we're going to try that at some stage the other three beers from Brewdog are all different concoctions really of beer this one here is called Punk AF I suspect the AF is alcohol free because I think they do a punk on its own so this is the alcohol free version of punk they've all got strange names by the way they're all <laughs> they've all got individual names the other one one of the other ones from brew dog this is called hazy af and i think there's a hazy that you can buy on its own which isn't of course alcohol free so there we go hazy af Sounds interesting. So 0.5% alcohol, so not completely alcohol free, but 0.5. I mean, it really is so low that you wouldn't really care about that amount, I wouldn't have thought. And the last one, which is one that I've been drinking quite a lot recently, Nanny State. That's right, Nanny State. And this is an alcohol-free hoppy beer, hoppy ale. In other words, it's what I would consider to be or call a proper beer. So those are the four that I've got to taste. And I'm not going to taste them all at the same time because I usually just drink one a day. Um, so you may see a change of clothing through this video as we hop from day to day. Um, now I've just got a bottle of Bex here, Blue Bex. This is what I have been drinking over the years. And um, I suppose in some way um, I'll be comparing what we taste uh, with these four beers uh, with, with Blue Bex because that's been with us for, for a, a large number of years now and probably is the one that I... Uh, well, up to now, I've, I've chosen in if I've gone to a pub or a restaurant if they've got it. So that's the Blue Bex is the non-alcoholic version of Bex. So a, a pleasant beer, a very very pleasant beer, and we will see how the others compare. So join me in a taste testing of these relatively new alcohol free beers okay so here we are with the first beer 
and I've decided to pick Punk AF for our first test taste. And just to give you some information, uh, you know, I probably didn't mention this at the beginning, but uh, you know, the reason I do drink these is because I'm diabetic and that I like to keep my carbohydrates low and my sugars low. Now I've calculated that this, this can, which is uh, 330 mils, equates to uh, 10 grams of carb, of which six grams of that is sugar. So about the teaspoon of sugar in here, um, not brilliant, but as far as I'm concerned, probably tolerable. I wouldn't want to have too many of these, okay? So you could you could say this would be a treat for me just to have one, one of these cans. So anyway, let's pour this out and let's see what it looks like. So kind of, certainly kind of lagerish, very much like the color of the Beck's. There we go. A nice golden colour with a head. Let's see what it tastes like. So all these cans that I'm going to drink, they have been in the fridge, so they are chilled. Hmm, yeah. It's got a nice, nice smell to it and quite a a deep flavour to it. Uh, um, I, I, I compare it more to probably a light ale rather than a lager actually, but um, it's nice. It's very nice. I'm going to um, enjoy this. Now, as I said, I, I'm only going to drink one drink each day, so so that's that's it for Punk AF, and at the end of our testing, I'll kind of sum up and I'll I'll let you know what I think is the uh, the best, perhaps, or at least what's the safest for diabetics to drink, and um, we'll sort of things out. So anyway, that's number one. It tastes very good. I'd give it eight out of ten, probably eight out of ten for that. Okay, see you on the next drink. Here we are again. It's test taste number two, the next beer. And I've picked Hazy, Hazy AF. Now, <laughs> I can't help myself. It's, it must be my dyslexia. I know AF stands for alcohol free, but I can't help but twisting those letters around the other way. Hazy FA. FA. There is no alcohol. Um, yeah, just my little joke, really. <laughs> so, what's this going to be like? Um, just reading off the stats for you people that are concerned about things like diabetes and stuff. This one's got 8.5 grams of carb and of which six grams are sugar. So yeah, a little bit, a little bit, uh, well, I say it's tolerable. It's tolerable, I think, but you have to make your own mind up. But that's, that's what it is. 8.5 grams of carb and six grams of sugar. And um, I will pour it out now. Okay, so. I can see instantly it's hazy. In fact, it's lighter than the beer that I poured out yesterday. Certainly, it's hazy. In fact, <laughs> in the good old days, if you went to a pub and someone poured that out, you would ask them to take it back and clean the pipes out, probably. Um, but of course, it's it's fashionable these days to have, or they can provide you with from the pumps, a hazy beer. And let's taste this one. 
Mm. Yes. Now that's lighter in taste than the one we had yesterday, the punk, the punk FA. Um, it's a lighter taste and it's, I don't know, it's got a, a citrus, I think it's got a bit of a citrusy, citrusy taste to it as well. But nice, I could drink that. And I think that, that I'm not sure how they get the haziness in there. Um, I'm sure it's, if I let it settle, I'm, I don't think it would settle. I think it just remains like that. Serve it cold, obviously. This is cold. This is straight out of the fridge. You've got to drink these cold. But in no way could you tell, I don't think, that this is non-alcoholic. It, it does taste like a beer, definitely. But it's quite light. It's got a distinctive smell to it and it's it, it's it's very nice. It's very refreshing. I, you could uh, drink this on a summer's day and it, it would be um, fantastic, you know, cool you down. So, that's test taste number two. What I'll do is I'll bring up all the, all the stats anyway at the end and sum up. So, um, tomorrow will be yet another one and I suspect will um, I will uh, drink or taste Nanny State which I have I have drunk before but um, it'll be interesting to show you what that looks like so join me again and it will see, be seamless for you because it will be next but um, I'll come back to you with the next one right I'm back and I'm just moving a few things out of the way. Today, the third beer is Nanny State. And as I said the other day, I've had this one before. And the stats for you people out there on Nanny State is that it has four grams of carb per tin, 330 mils of which 0.33 are sugars. So this is, in my books, this is the best one as far as carbs and sugars is, is concerned. It seems to be the lowest, um, uh, much lower than the others in a way, but may, maybe, you know, it's, it's horses for courses really. So Nanny State, yeah, that's what it's called. So I'm gonna pour this out. I have had this before. But it's a different type of beer to what we've seen before. There we go. Much darker than the other two. In fact, as I've probably said to you before, what I consider to be called <laughs> a proper beer with a proper head on it. Um, now, yeah. I really like this one. I'm going to take another sip in a minute. It says on here, alcohol free of course, hoppy beer. And that's exactly what it's trying to demonstrate here. It, it's, it's setting itself apart from the uh, light owls and the lagers. It's certainly, you can taste the hops in this. And again, Serve it cool from the fridge and it kind of retains its head a bit better than the others. But yes, I like this one the best and um, as I said, out of all of them, the carbs and the sugars seem to be the best. So, but I will put all the uh, figures up at the end of this video. So I'm going to enjoy this as always. Yeah, that's nice. Very, very drinkable. So, tomorrow, the last one tomorrow, and that will be our stout, which I have no idea what that's going to be like or taste like. Uh, so, let's see what that one's like tomorrow. Hi, I'm back with day four of the taste test, or test taste of beer and of course today is the final beer in my selection 
It's Big Drop Brewing Company Galactic Milk Stout. And it says on the tin, it's gluten free, 91 calories per can, 35 IBU, whatever that means. And it says, forget the notion this is a beer style that has had its day. Instead, think of it as honeycomb covered in chocolate because that's exactly what it tastes like. Rich and absolutely and, a, and an absolute decadent treat. S store and enjoy chilled. Yeah, okay. Take that on board then. It's 0.5 alcohol, so that's what they consider to be no alcohol. And for the diabetics who might be interested, a big drop. Galactic Milk Stout has 18 grams of carb, of which, strangely enough, 0.33 are sugars. So, much more carb in this, and because of that, I'm going to taste it, and I can generally tell whether it's going to agree with me um, or not. So, I'm going to take it steady. I'm going to drink it, but um, and I'm going to taste it for you, but. Uh, well, let's see what happens. So I'm going to pour it, and it. I'm going to. I guess it's going to be dark, isn't it? Like Guinness or oh, Mackison, dare I say? Oh yes. Oh yes. That's tar. Look at that. I would have liked to have tasted the stout by Brewdog. But I, as I said at the beginning, I couldn't get hold of that. Wow, that, look at that. Look at that. Let's taste, smell it to start with. Can't say it smells of anything particularly, certainly not, nothing galactic about it at the moment, but let's, let's taste it. The head's kind of decaying a bit now. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Has it got a honeycomb? Kind of tastes like it might. It, it tastes a little bit like like honeycomb. I'm not sure with so many carbs why the sugar is so low. But that's added sugars, I guess. It's very. It's it's bitter, obviously, because it's a stout. unusual. I'm not that keen on stout, but I will drink it. Um, For a change, sure. I think I might try and get the nanny, the, not the nanny state, the, um, the, the stout by um, Brewdog and, uh, and, and taste that to see how that compares with this at some point. I'm going to drink some of this. I'm probably going to drink half of it, but yeah, that's out of the four. That's my least favourite. So what I'm going to do now, or in a minute, when I've got my thoughts together, I'm going to sum up what I've tasted over the past four days. Welcome back, and I'm going to sum up the four beers that I've tasted over the past four days with some. Information there, I think. I think that's where the information's going to go anyway. I should be amazed if it's there and probably it's gonna be over there because, well, knowing me, I'm dyslexic, so it could be anywhere. But I've put some stats up there as to the, the carbs and the sugars for these. Um, my preference on this list, I've given first to uh, Nanny State, Probably because of the taste and, and also the low carb for me and, and sugar. That was the best as far as a diabetic might be concerned. But I, I thought Nanny State tasted the best out of all of them. 
but then I do prefer a, a kind of beer, hoppy beer to a lager. Um, number two, I, I like the, the Hazy AF. Uh, I thought that was good as well. And third, I gave that to Punk AF. And fourth, to Big Drop, which, yeah, I wasn't particularly amazed by that. But then I'm not a stout drinker and it's still repeating on me a bit. But looking at the can for, for the stout, it, did say, it does say on it, World Beer Awards, United Kingdom, it's got a silver. So it's had some sort of award. So that's my review. I have to add that um, during the four days that I've been tasting these beers, I do take my uh, sugar reading at night just to see uh, how I've gone really basically uh, it gives me some indication of how well I've behaved with my sugars. I have to say that out of two, two of the four days that uh, my sugar levels have been before bed have been really really low 4.3 um, so none of these beers have really and I have only had one can but none of these beers have really affected uh, my sugar levels to any any great degree. So, but I, I guess you know you have to look at it for yourself and, and read into it. You know, I'm, I'm type two, so type one is going to be totally different. But so please, if you're going to taste these uh, with my recommendations, please ensure that you look up all the data first and, and take you know take it steady. So that's. That's it from me. I, that was a great taste. And um, I hope to be back soon with another exciting video. Um, probably a haircut, I would guess. It's, I'm just getting unruly now. And so take care, everybody. And bye for now. Bye.